So I thought I would share with you guys what I got for Christmas. So that is it for my little updated room tour. Very, very organized. The ring part is my favorite part. You just can't book flights without your spouse finding out. Damn, we got lots of meat. You already got a, a cow. Half a cow. Half a cow. Do you think that's one pound for three? Probably. So I found a, what do they call them? Cattle herder? <laughs> I don't know. I found a, it's called a, what are they called? Samson family beef. Like a farmer. Yeah. And I bought a side of beef. And then I had to go pick it up from the processor, which was two hours away. So gas money in this probably killed <laughs> me alone. And we have enough ground beef to have tacos, for tacos and spaghetti for 10 years. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Why did you do so much ground beef? Versus... I don't know. I didn't tell them what I, I told the guy what I wanted. Yeah. But I don't know if he transferred it to them. Huh. I didn't say this much burgers, though. He's counting everything because somehow he needs to make sure he didn't get screwed out of pricing or something. I have no clue. This is... A weird OCD side of Ken. You guys don't get to see that often. More importantly than the meat is this, <laughs> this get up. <laughs> Look at your get up. Pink, pink sandals, it, stretchy pants. They're called leggings. Wool coat. This is not wool. That's a get up right there. Okay, so all this burger, bunch of steaks and roasts and t-bone steaks porterhouse steaks ribeye chuck roast chuck, and then some burger patties probably should have did more of these and less of the yeah you got to make the burgers <laughs> so according to my scratch calculations just estimate it's probably about 200 pounds of how much 200 pounds i bet you're probably 250 he tells me to write it down and calculate it, and now he's going to try to tell me that my calculations are off by 50 pounds. Like, why did I write it down if he was just going to guess? Whatever. I can't handle men sometimes. Or maybe it's not men, maybe it's just Ken. Hello, everybody. I'm going to show a quick outfit. My Tate sweater and my matching shorts. I just wanted to show that because I put a lot of effort into my outfit for the entire day. But really quickly, I just wanted to film and update you on my bedroom because Christmas was two days ago and I spent all day yesterday like putting everything away. I filmed my video. I haven't edited, I haven't edited it yet. I don't know why I can't say that. But, um, it'll be up soon, maybe tomorrow. I don't know when this posts, so it might already be up, I don't know. But, yeah, I spent all day yesterday, I filmed that video, and then I, like, put everything together. And then today, I kind of went back through and, like, reorganized some stuff, so I'm just gonna show you what I did. So, firstly, I'll start off with my nightstand. It's kind of, like, messy. But typically this candle would go right there and those things would be a clump. Ignore those. And that's just my lamp and my water bottles and everything's pretty much the same. But this is literally like my favorite part. So I made these in like ceramics but I stole them out of the other bedroom because I made them. And I put them in here. So this is like AirPods, my headphones, like this controller to that lamp. And just some, you know, other electronic-y stuff. This is my claw clips, the sleeping spray, this chapstick, all my markers and pens. Back here is all my, like, camera stuff, like, to edit. And then there's chargers and my camera and other stuff. And then down here is, like, journals and books. So, my bed is the same as always. I ended up starting a new book before I finished my other one because I just couldn't keep reading that book right now I'm gonna take a break from it this right there is brand new and then most of that is kind of the same but the part that is new is I put my books up there because I had them down here and it became an issue because I ran out of space 
and eventually I'm going to get more books. And also that thing down there is full of candles. And if I want to get to a candle, I had to take out every single one of my books. So, not doing that. So, so far that is that area. Um, moving over here. Here is my little jewelry box. I'll just open the top because that is the prettiest part. This is pretty much, this is like the most of the jewelry box like there's some bracelets and earrings there's like nothing in here nothing in the sides yet but these are just plastic rings these are all my nice rings these are some more rings some more rings some more rings these are all earrings that are like studs these are nose piercings these are earrings that don't like connect and then these are all like hoops that like can connect to each other so very very organized the ring part is my favorite part and i just put that over here with this stuff oh that's the same some touch-ups in my closet i actually added a fourth shelf to this because i started running out of room and also these are all like my nice shoes and they were like mixing with my like you know other shoes so here's all my like heels and stuff and then here is just the organization of the shoes that I wear and like my new shoes and stuff. And then also this is just my closet. I put my new clothes in here. This is where my new pajamas are. And then here's all my pants. I know you guys probably haven't seen my closet in a while. And then the last part that is updated is my bathroom. This is new. That is new. They're not new, but they haven't been there. Here is the placement of my little, like, counter thing. And I'm going to get a chair. Like, I have this chair ready, and I'm just going to keep it right here. Because I have this mirror, and I can't do my makeup standing up. Then I redid the organization of all my drawers. This is the ugliest drawer I have. Here's this one. This is all hair stuff, and then this is face stuff, and look, I added this thing. It's like this little basket, and you can take it out, and there's like stuff under it, but that has my bobby pins that I use for dance, and here's just a clip. Special tampons. Here is my tooth drawer. Then this is my makeup drawer. Here's my new makeup bag and some of my new products that I got for Christmas. Kind of just went through, got rid of some old stuff. <laughs> Ew, I just opened that with my foot. Here is all of my just like hair product stuff. And then under here is like cat food, extra makeup, whatever. Boring stuff. This is basically a room tour. And then lastly, I reorganized this. So... This is beautiful. I love the way this looks. So that is it for my little updated room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see where everything in my room is from, I get that kind of a lot. Go check out my room tour on my channel. And also, if you want to see what I got for Christmas, it might be out while this video is out or it will be out very soon. So stay tuned. So we got Carly, her favorite. Oh, why are you hiding? Your hair looks cute. <laughs> we got Carly, her favorite, Bibby Bop. So we were out running around town and Ken's like, you're not doing a very good job because you're not vlogging. And I don't know, sometimes you just gotta you live in the moment. A famous influencer and always hiding from the camera. Always. She does. <laughs> And I think your hair looked good too. That was the first thing when I walked in. I'm like, your hair looks nice. I just didn't say it. <laughs> so we went to get an oil change for my car. We went to lunch, had some yummy food at a restaurant we've never tried before. And then I took Ken to Target. And of course we were only in there. Oh yeah, I ran in Barnes and Noble because today was the last day for their 50% off hardcovers. And every book that was on my like to read list that I don't have yet, they either didn't have in stock at all, or they only had it in paperback, or they didn't, yeah, that's it. They either didn't have it or they only had it in paperback. Cause I don't really need any more books right now. I was just getting them cause they would be 50% off. But, so I just gave up after a while. So we got some really exciting stuff at Target, like detergent and tissues. Oh, I got a cute little basket for, oh, this is the same as the one we use on the kitchen counter. This is for the basement to put my chalk in. 
which I really don't even use quite as much anymore because I got gloves. So then I do like planks, burpees, uh, what else? Push-ups, all that. My hands slide. I have sweaty hands, so I wear like these gloves. So that's it. So now we're home. We fed the dogs. I have to edit the Christmas video that you guys will be watching on Thursday. We still watch this part probably after the finish. Michael posts yes. my video on Thursday though. No, yours should go up today. You don't want them to go up the same day. I mean, it's right there. That's done. Ooh, Carly's what she got for Christmas. Finally edited. She filmed it the day after Christmas and it's only what, four days later? So I thought I would share with you guys what I got for Christmas. And then also better explain the story because if you watched our Christmas Day special, like opening presents, you may not have quite understood exactly what it was that went on when I gave Ken his Christmas present. So first I'll show you what I got from Chase and Asha. They gave me this little bag and it has a ton of those like spinny stress rings. There's like a ton of different designs. So when I was going through my anxiety, I had bought like, what are those pop it things where you know, you pop them all and you flip it over and pop them all again. I had bought one of those and I bought this ring. It kind of looks like spiral wire and you like sit and just like slide it up and down your finger. <laughs> but it like starts to turn your finger almost like this black stuff wears off of it. It's weird. So it's still sitting in my office, but I didn't really use that for that long. Okay, so here's the four rings that it comes with. There's kind of like a sparkly one, stars and moon, some like flowers. And so you put them on your finger, you just sit and go like this. So it helps, like say you're anxious, say you're flying an airplane like I'm gonna be doing soon. At the dentist, you're doing something that's just, so you could sit and Play with it like this, you can play with it like that. I joked and said, I'm just gonna put them on all my fingers. Just sit and spin them. And then this candle, it says La Jolie Muse. It's Jasmine and Ling Ling. I've never heard of Ling Ling, but I can definitely smell the jasmine. And I just love the look of the candle. I'm getting my fingerprints all over it. This will look so pretty in my office. And then from Andrew and Corey, I got this pair of gloves. They're furry inside. And I got this pair of PJs, which I absolutely love the color. And I love the fact that it's short sleeve. I don't like wearing long sleeve PJs. And it comes with these pants. Really cute. And then these PJ pants, kind of like Christmas pattern. And they got these two bandanas for the dogs to wear them and then I can take pictures and match the dogs. So for Ken and I's Christmas, all along I kept telling him like, don't give me anything for Christmas. I'm getting us kind of like a joint gift. It's something special that's for both of us to enjoy. And you guys know I had shopped like on Cyber Monday and bought that Tory Burch purse and had gotten new clothes and stuff recently. I was like, you know, just don't get me anything. Like we're gonna have this trip and we might shop when we're there and that sort of thing. So what happened with the trip, <laughs> I was so disappointed. So I spent so much time and effort researching like for the Miami Dolphins football game, where are the best seats? Cause you know, like 50 yard line first row is not the best seats. Not that those seats are even available, but I'm just saying like, there are good seats in a football stadium and there are bad seats or not bad, but like there are better seats. So I spent so much time researching, checking different resale, like, checking different websites for available tickets, just making sure I really got us good seats. So I got that, that was not hard at all to hide from Ken. He doesn't check like our American Express bill or any of that kind of stuff to know like, oh my God, would she buy or whatever. So then when it came to the flights, I was like, well, should I wait and just book them after Christmas? Or what should I do? Cause how am I gonna use like Ken's Delta Sky Miles number and all this stuff without him knowing? So I kept researching, knew what flights, knew what dates, times, all that stuff. And I was like, okay, he left to go somewhere and I knew he was gonna be gone for a little while. I knew I could get on his computer 
and get into his email and forward the email to me for the flight confirmation and then like delete it off his computer. So everything went fine. I was able to do that. He didn't notice. Nothing was said. It was literally 24 hours later when Delta sends, or maybe it was even American Express, I don't know, sends an email, congratulations on using your points, like on our American Express card, to purchase your flight. Ugh. So there's, so there's no way I would have known that Delta was going to send out that email. And then it was funny because another 24 hours later, they sent the same email. So Ken was like, there's no way you would have been able to like be able to get on my computer three days in a row, stop all these emails, prevent from getting him the, or, or prevent him from getting them. The only thing that I would have been able to do if I would have thought this deep into it was changed his email to my email on his Delta like Sky Miles account. But I'm pretty sure even then he probably would have got an email confirming that you're changing your email. And so you just can't book flights without your spouse finding out. Not when they use their Delta Sky Miles and all that good stuff. So stressed about it when he said to me, are we going to Miami? I was like, oh. I was like, literally said, you suck. You like ruined your Christmas present. <laughs> so then we ended up like, a, and, and this happened probably like um, three weeks ago, maybe. So he's known about it for a while. And then last week we is when we booked our hotel, which kind of made me feel good. I really hesitated about making that decision of where to stay. I didn't know if we should stay in South Beach or in downtown Miami, on the beach, in Hollywood, like there were so many decisions to make. I don't really think that there's a wrong answer, like all those places will probably be nice and fun and whatever, buy plenty of restaurants and things to do. But I just wanted to be able to like talk to him about it before we booked our hotel. So in the end, I guess it all worked out. It's still a nice Christmas present for both of us to enjoy. All right, my battery died, so I just grabbed a different camera. So Blake got me this puzzle that Carly and I actually already put together on Christmas Day. Put the whole thing together in one day and let it sit there for a couple days and then finally tore it apart. That's the worst part of puzzles. It's like you put them together and then you're like, now oh, what do I do with it? Anyways, this is insane. He got me this puzzle. 3,000 pieces. I've never seen a puzzle that's 3,000 pieces. It says the, si the size of the pieces is just like regular puzzle piece size. But this is going to be huge. It's 32 by 45 inch. And with this little detail, that's insane. 20 years of Spongebob on this puzzle. So that'll be fun to do someday. And then he also got me a gift card to Barnes & Noble. So you guys know I will spend that wisely. So yeah, that covers everything that I got for Christmas. Again, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. I know we're kind of like, I'm filming what I got for Christmas and it's already like days past Christmas. You guys are probably sick of even seeing everybody's Christmas videos, but this is where we're at with our vlogs with posting every other day. So, all right guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.